Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissue, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Josh Nyakshimash. So what have I got for you guys today? Well, we are going to be restoring this little thing that I bought. I have a number of clocks in the house. Uh, grandfather clock, uh, great-granddaughter clock, uh, and some other kind of wind-up clocks. So instead of having the one with the key, which kills my hands sometimes, I went online and I found this, this little kind of like a winder. It's got a wooden handle on it. This is made of brass. It's very old. It's very dirty. The wood looks, doesn't look very good on it. So what we're going to be doing is restoring this. This is a bit stiff and a bit squeaky when it should be loose. I have absolutely no idea how I am going to take it apart because it doesn't look it comes apart very easily, but we will put it through the blaster for polishing to bring it up nice and clean. And also I'm gonna do the wood at the same time. I'm gonna put some lubricating in and we're gonna try and make this wood bit look a bit nicer, bring it back to its former glory. And uh, yeah, and then you can see me use it. So this is the very short video today, but this is just something that I wanted to show you that we can do with wood and metal to try and restore it back to its former glory to make it look good again. So the next thing I have to do now is take you guys over to the sandblasting unit and we will sandblast it. Okay, so there we go, that has now gone through the um, sandblaster. Let's turn it 
turn the light down there we go so that is now looking so much better than what it did before it's even got its shine back a little bit so i'm just going to put it through this um thing <laughs> that i'm doing here just to polish it up a bit more So I got some mag uh, aluminium, mag and aluminium polish, and a very very fine um, wire wool. I'm just going to polish this by hand. So there we go, that is now lovely and shiny, looks amazing. Still a bit dry, but it does move around a little bit better. I'm not worried about getting that black with these. I could have taped it off, but I'm not that fussed about it, not a problem. I'm going to use some white lithium grease. That moves so much freely, so freely now. So freer. Give this another work on.
got number 13 written on it there. Finally, one more buff. There we go. That looks so good. That's what I'm going to be using to wind up the clocks. So I think we should take a look at it in action. So let's take it into the living room and let's wind up the clock. So what I've got here is some yacht varnish. I wasn't happy with the finish on this. I didn't think it was good enough. So I have got some yacht varnish. That I'm gonna paint on it. To give it a nicer finish. There we go. So as you saw in the video, it does work now. But putting that coat of varnish on it. So, bristle there. Bloody bristle there. Okay.
There we go. So there's my brass clock winder. Cleaned up, polished, looks so much nicer than what it did before, as you saw in the before and after picture. I'll do a before and after picture. The one in the living room, the one on the mantelpiece, didn't work. That must be a number 12 or a number 11, but it did work for the great granddaughter clock and the uh, wall clock in the kitchen and the tall grandmother clock. I'm not exactly sure what the names are. Craig from Craig's Clocks, link to his uh, channel be in the video description. Um, he's the one who knows all about the clock, so he'll probably tell me all about this, but uh, I just found it on eBay because I wanted something that was gonna be a lot easier to wind up the clocks. And uh, yeah, we've made it look very much, 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 much better. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Nice little short ones now coming up over winter with lots of demos. It's a bit too cold in here to do big refurbs, but there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.